If you've heard about Go language and you're confused, what is Go language used for? Which companies use this language in their products? Should I learn it or should I learn some other programming language? Is it easy to get a job as a Go language developer? Can I do web development using Go language? And is it easy to learn? Then this video is for you. So watch this video till the end to get answers to all of your questions related to Go language. And by the end of this video, you'll be ready with a decision whether or not you want to learn Go language. Go language is a modern programming language created by developers at Google in around 2008-2009. Yes, some very smart developers came together to create this language. People like Ken Thompson, Rob Pike and many others. So stay assured this is a very good programming language. But why create a new programming language when there already are so many programming languages? Well, the idea behind development of Go language was to combine the best features of different programming languages and create one programming language which caters to all the modern requirements when it comes to software and application development. Go language comes feature packed and you do not need a huge technology stack when you are working with Go language because Go language alone can manage a lot of things. Let's walk you through some features of Go language which are the main highlights. It's fast. Yes, it's super fast. Go language was primarily created for system programming to replace C, C++ languages. So it is just like C and C++ language, but far better. Go is a compiled language like C, C++ and does not require interpretation, making it super duper fast. It is a modern language with modern capabilities. Yes, I would repeat it again. It is a modern language with modern capabilities. It can be run on any modern hardware inside Docker containers or on virtual machines. And you can do almost anything using it, be it developing a web application or a script to clean up temporary files from your cloud server or to load up some incoming data to a messaging queue. You throw anything at it and it will not disappoint you. It is multi-threaded. Yes, most of the modern languages are not multi-threaded and later on these capabilities were added to those languages. But Go language was created with this capability. And not just that, it has Go routines. That comes with some special power to manage the multi-threading in Go language, so you don't have to do much. Being multi-threaded means it can run multiple threads in parallel to increase processing speed. Go language is also super easy to learn. Syntax of Go language and the learning curve is smooth. Hence, anyone can easily learn Go language. If you already know some other programming language, then this should be a piece of cake. Apart from this, Go language comes with tools like GoDoc, which can be used to generate documentation automatically. Go Meta Linter that can help you analyze your code and improve it. A testing API to write proper test cases, race detector to detect race conditions in multi-threaded applications, and a lot more. Talking about what all you can do using Go language, well, I've covered a lot of it, but still, Go language can be used for web development, for DevOps, building cloud-based services, and whatnot. Go is so good in handling large projects that many companies have moved their entire code base to Go. One such product is Bitly. I'm sure you must have heard about it. Then there is American Express that uses Go for payments and rewards feature in their application. Dropbox is actively migrating their application's performance critical backend services from Python to Go. Yes, you heard it right, from Python to Go. Meta, which was Facebook earlier, is using Go language now. Google, of course, is using it because they created it in the first place. Microsoft, Netflix, PayPal, Riot Games, Salesforce, Target, Trivago, Twitch, Twitter, Uber, and the list goes on. Which brings us to our next question. Should I learn Go and what are the career opportunities? Well, of course you should learn it. And if you're preparing to get into Fang or Mang now after Meta, it's a great choice and not many young developers are focusing on this language. So now is the right time to board this train before it's too late. There is so many more good things about Go language that you will get to know when you learn it. If you want us to cover more about it, post a comment and I'll create more videos on Go. And once again, I would like to mention it. It's easy to learn Go. There are so many resources online and you can also find a course for Go language on Study Tonight. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Please subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. And give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and do comment down below. See you in the next video.